Whether you work in the music industry or trying to promote your own music, Spotify can be a great resource to see what's trending and finding upcoming artists. In this video, we're going to scrape Spotify playlists using the official Spotify API for free. I'll also show you how you can download this data into CSV spreadsheets using our freemium service. So we can scrape the tracks with any public Spotify playlist. This one looks pretty popular with about 34 million likes, has about 50 songs in it, and Spotify updates this weekly, I believe. Anyway, we can scrape all the tracks using this API endpoint called Get Playlist Items. I'll put a link to this in the description so you can see how it works. You just provide the playlist ID, which you can find from the URL of any public Spotify playlist. And this will give you back a maximum of 50 tracks at a time, which is great because most playlists only have 50 items in them. We'll be able to see what time each item was added to the playlist, who added it, in this case it's just going to be Spotify, but if it's by another user, you can see which user added those tracks. We'll also pull back a lot of details behind each track, such as details about the album, including images of the album art, the name of the album, the release date, and some other interesting facts you may find useful. I'm not gonna get into all of them here. We'll also see a list of the artists behind each track, including popularity and some other metadata. So this is a lot more information than what's available on the public webpage if you were to use an illegal screen scraper. Regarding each individual track, we'll not only get the name available on the webpage, we'll also get the popularity metric. Now the Spotify API doesn't give you back the actual play count. There is a way to get them. See my other video using the HAR file web scraper, but this gives you a metric between zero and 100, estimating the general popularity. You also get a preview URL of the actual song. Just be careful about republishing this because of copyright. And if you're scraping a playlist full of podcast episodes, you'll get information back as well. They'll just be represented a little bit differently. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description so you can go through this in depth on your own. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna copy the playlist ID from the URL and paste it in here on the right hand side. Set the limit to 50 and then click try it. Now we're querying the actual Spotify API as long as we're logged into Spotify. You'll see the live data here and when you click on it, it corresponds to the documentation on the left, which is pretty nice. You can download this full data by clicking on this bracket and then click copy here. And you can paste this into another text editor like Sublime Text for use on your own. So here's the very first track, Love It On Me. We can confirm it corresponds to the website, popularity of 94. We can see the preview URL of the actual audio. You'll also see external links like to the actual track, artist, or album. This can be useful, for example, if you want to try to do some outreach or research on particular artists. So if you're happy with this JSON file, you're probably all set. But if you want to analyze this in Excel and need a CSV file, or if you need to scrape a really large playlist with more than 50 songs, we can do that with a freemium service that I provide, link in description. So this wraps around the official Spotify API so it works just like the other website. We give it the playlist ID, just copy that from any URL and paste it in here. We also need to provide a Spotify API access token, just follow these links here. And you need to provide your Spotify API client ID, so click this link here and you should have an app here or you can click create app, this is totally free from the Spotify API, just log in with your Spotify credentials. Copy your client ID and then paste it in here. And then you wanna get your client secret, which is over here, view client secret, and then paste it in here. This will then securely query the Spotify API and get you an access token, which is valid for only one hour. So this will be expired by the time you view this. This is my token. Paste your access token in here and we automatically set the limit to 50 for you because there's no reason not to use 50. And we'll query the Spotify API for you just like the other web page did. But instead of getting those 50 songs in that huge JSON file, our service will auto magically parse that JSON into downloadable CSV files you can open up in Excel and do your own analysis on with. So here's that raw JSON you can get from the Spotify API for free. And this is our parsed version, which you can immediately download and open up in Excel. We can see a few of the interesting fields here, like explicit, about half the tracks are explicit in this playlist. These playlist tracks should also have high popularity scores since it's Spotify's top hits. We can also see the album name in case it's different from the track name, but these are both singles, so that won't be the case. We can see the distribution here. Again, about half of them are singles, half of them are albums. We see the release date here. These are both fairly recent. And each album can have multiple artists. We just see the first artist here in this column. And then you can click this button here and download up to 10 rows of data totally for free on our free tier. You only have to pay if you want to download more than 10 rows of data per day. If you're interested in artists, you may want to check out this collection here. Since each album can have multiple artists, you may want to download this here. And you can see for each track ID, here's an example where one track has multiple artists. We can also see another example. Some of them have like three artists. This track here is called Popular with these very popular artists, The Weeknd and Madonna. Very appropriate name, it seems. But what if you want to scrape a really long playlist, like the longest playlist ever with 10,000 songs. It's probably the max Spotify will allow. So we pop the playlist ID in here. We'll see we'll only get the first 50 tracks. Now, most playlists are only about 50 tracks on Spotify, but you need to scrape a really long one. 
you can scroll down and you'll find this offset parameter here. So type in 50 to get the next 50 and so on. So you'll see a CSV file containing the next page of results and so on. You need to keep doing this to get all the results and you'll have a bunch of different CSV files. But our workflows product here can do that for you automatically and query the Spotify API on your behalf. Just grab the playlist ID again and throw it in here. This is gonna look a lot like the endpoint page, but you can put in multiple playlist IDs per line if you wanna scrape multiple playlists in one CSV file. Put in your access token again. Remember, it's only valid for one hour, so you may wanna get a new one if it's been a while. You can see how the pagination offset works. It's gonna increment it by 50 each time. It's best to just leave this alone. Please don't touch this. Then just go down here and click execute. This workflow took about eight minutes to run and scraped all 10,000 tracks from that playlist. So you can see here, it queried the Spotify API and it increased the offset by 50 each time. And it only did one playlist ID, but if you have multiple playlists, it'll just keep going until it exhausts all of your playlist IDs. It's gonna be great if you need to scrape a bulk list of playlists and get all their tracks. I can see the results here all 10,000 tracks in one CSV file. And I can see I get some extra data on the right, so I get all the data we talked about before, like popularity scores, albums, artists, etc. So hopefully you found this useful. Check out our other video on getting the actual Spotify play counts here. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe for more.